Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, depending on where you are in the world. Hope you're having a wonderful day. It's Sunday, the start of another great week. Hopefully yours will be great as well. If you're watching this on my Facebook page, please like my page. If you're watching it on YouTube, please like and subscribe. It really helps out my channel. Let's see what the cards have in store for us today. Okay, so looking at the cards, we do have a little bit of a conflict between the cups and the wands here, so fire and water. And of course, like the saying goes, fire and water don't mix. So we may find that these are at least the water, possibly the fire, are going to be slightly restricted or um, limited in their effect in some way. So looking first off, we've got the Nine of Cups, Material Happiness. And this is all, uh, normally the Nine of Cups is all about having material happiness, having your um, needs fulfilled, you're feeling comfortable in your situation, uh, you've got everything you need, you're happy, you're confident in where you're at, and you're set there, and you're right where you want to be. Now, in this case, with it being slightly, uh, with it being restricted, because it's ill-dignified, it's next to the fire card, uh, this could be that we either feel trapped by that, or that you are not quite there yet. Maybe you're things are going better for you but you haven't gotten to where you're really satisfied yet that real satisfaction is eluding you and then we have the king of wands which would normally represent someone who has taken their desires and i say desires in the sense of your desire to create something or your desire to do something not necessarily in a physical uh, desire, you desire someone, or a lustful desire, I should say. Um, but someone that's taken that their desire and really refined it to a specific purpose and directed their will toward it and acted upon it. So at this point, with both of these being slightly restricted, maybe you're at a point where you haven't acted on it yet, or you haven't quite refined it enough yet, and maybe that's something you need to do more of to bring about this material happiness and in doing that you need to act on it and of course the knight of swords here is all about action based off of your thoughts because it's swords and moving very swiftly with that you can see he's a swiftly moving card and the knights just act on the thoughts without a whole lot of deep thought going into them uh, they react to your thoughts, and they're just the fast reaction that you experience at times. Um, but that reaction is following your thought, not necessarily following emotions or other things like it would be if it were some of the other nights. So, you want to, going forward with this, you may not, like I said, you may not be at that point of pure happiness yet, of real happiness, but you're getting there, and you may need to reorganize your thoughts more, and focus more on them, and start acting upon them, and really act on them, and when you act on them, you act forcefully, and you act decisively, um, based off of your thought, based off of what it is that your will has determined, that you've refined and focused to the point to where you need to be. Maybe you need to do some more of that refining and then act on it 
So um, yeah, there's a lot going on. It, you've got we've got a we're at the almost at the point of where we've gotten to this material happiness where we're at the point where we've got what we need fulfilled and we're comfortable we're almost there we're not quite and this is telling us how we can get there by really focusing that will focusing our intention on what it is that we want to do when, and when i say will i mean our spiritual will not just focus our thoughts on it but focus everything on it and really put ourselves into it and act on it act on it as soon as you think about it move forward with it so that we can bring about this material happiness that's waiting for us so that's what the cards are telling us for today i hope you got a lot out of this if you did please like and subscribe to my youtube page and like my facebook page you can also follow my blog. The links for all of my social media are listed on the About page on Facebook and in the description below on YouTube. You, my readings start off at $5. You can contact me through Facebook, through my business page, uh, through YouTube, through my email at lodgemagician at gmail.com, or you can go to my website, which is also listed in the description below. Thank you and have a wonderful day.